friends. Welcome to my day. I have been alluding to the fact that I'm going to go somewhere on a, well, I'm gonna travel. I haven't called it a vacation. I haven't called it an emergency trip, um, but I haven't told you what it is. So I thought you could get ready with me a little bit just so I don't look so frumpish. But I've got clean hair this morning. It's not this morning, it's two o'clock in the afternoon. <laughs> but I needed to wait to film this video when Ashley was gone, occupied, not bothering me. Um, and so she's a play date right now. Hi, my name is Dana. If you are new and coming to this as a travel video, I am gonna show you how I'm going to pack my bag, but I'm kind of packing them a little bit differently, which is why I kind of needed to do like a whole video explaining why I'm traveling. So it's not just like a how I'm gonna pack kind of video, although I am excited to use my new bag if you are not new here and have watched my um, little explanation of the new travel bag that I got. I am gonna use that bag, but I also have a carry-on bag and I'm only gonna be gone for four days. So I don't know why I would need to have both of those bags, but I'm gonna explain that to you now and then we will go show you how I'm going to pack and why. So I am traveling to see my family in Utah. I am going to fly in and my twin sister is gonna pick me up um, and we are going to just hang out for that evening. And then the next day, um, my I've talked to my aunt um, and she has invited us to get together. Um, she might help me, we're gonna try and have her help me work on a logo for me, for my channel. She is graduating at the age of 75, I think, 70s. She's in the 70s. She's my dad's youngest sister. Um, she's graduating with a degree in graphic design. Insane. I love it. I love the fact that she went back to school a few years ago, and so she might help me out. And we're gonna just talk all things graphic design. So we're gonna do that for the day. And then um, we haven't decided if we're gonna drive north. So my sister lives in Salt Lake City, Utah. My twin sister does. And then the rest, most of the rest of my family lives north. Um, which is where I grew up. And then, so we haven't decided if we're gonna go down or drive north on um, Friday night or Saturday morning. We have to be there Saturday morning, so that's the earliest or the latest that we can drive up. But the whole point to my weekend getaway, and I have added days just to make it feel like it's less of a fly in, fly out scenario. I am taking time, like I said, to go and hang out with my family. Um, I'm gonna try and see my best friend when I'm there, but she doesn't know I'm coming yet because I'm trying to fit in that time. But the reason why I'm going is kind of a hard topic and I haven't told very many people that I'm going to do this. I've told close friends and stuff. Nothing bad. It's just hard. My mom passed away two years ago. We are coming up on the two year anniversary. Two years or three years? 2024. <sighs> she died two years ago. I think so. I don't know. It seems weird that time has flown by, but it also hasn't. But my mom passed away unexpectedly and kind of shook us all. Shook my dad and so since then he has and even before that you know it's just my mom and dad living at home all eight of us siblings yes you heard that right if you are new here i have seven siblings there's eight of us no one is left living at home and so they have had a very large house empty for a very long time and over the past couple years it has kind of seen better days unfortunately last year the basement flooded twice which growing up our basement did flood a few times. It's just the way they do basements in Utah. They have basements. Washington doesn't have basements. It's too wet here. Um, and so when Utah does get a lot of precipitation, their basements can't handle it. And their window wells fill up with water, or in my dad's case, the edge filled up with water, and then a rock caught a little river of water and smashed through the window. And so a whole river of water went all through the basement, flooded it. So that happened twice. The second time it happened, my dad hadn't even cleaned up from the first one. And so the basement has been down to concrete sink. He's also done some mild renovations to the basement that he had wanted to do for a long time, not to like make it look good, but to actually just get rid of an old fire. So the basement is absolutely down to bare bones. There's nothing left. And so this year he decided to sell the house. He just had a hip replacement about three weeks ago and realized I'm getting to the point where I can't really like comfortably go up and down the stairs. And if something were to happen to me, I'm alone and I would need my family 
family. Like he's needed for this surgery to be here with me to help me up and down the stairs and make sure I could get up and down safely. And he does not like to be dependent on anyone. And so he decided to sell the house. There's a few other reasons that are personal to him, but I'm not sure how many of those actually play in anymore. I'm not sure. But he has decided to sell the house. It is a gut house. It is a house for a family to come in. And since the basement has no flooring and even like half the walls are gone because they soaked up water, someone needs to buy the house and redo the whole thing. They need all new flooring, all new paint, a whole new kitchen. Bathrooms could probably just be fixed up. They're, they're all functional, but he has decided to sell the house met with a real estate agent and they both agreed don't fix the house yourself don't waste the money someone else is gonna come in here it is a large house there are two three four five six six bedrooms on two different floors the second floor and the basement there's also a cold storage room a regular cold regular storage room and major kitchen living room family room the whole works it's a big house it's not a mansion it's a house for eight people I say all this because in the process of those floods initially they realized some of us in the family had been been storing a little too many things in the basement and hadn't taken them with them now that they're married. <laughs> Not me, I'm not the guilty one. Um, so my dad made them take their stuff where it needs to, but it also started this conversation of, okay, not only do you need to come and claim your stuff, which to be fair, I have one wedding dress that I have never taken home. I always forget when I go home. I, did, I hope I know where it is. I saw one in one closet, but I'm, that one's not mine, it's my sister's. I have a wedding dress and I have a box of memor memorabilia in the storage room. That's all I left behind. I took everything else with me. So hopefully they're not thinking something else is mine but the other process and the main reason why I am going home is that we are going through my mom's things and my dad is allowing us as kids to take the things of hers that we would like he is going to move into a smaller home and so he still needs some of his furniture and some of his decor and lamps and things like that but he knows that there are certain things that us kids want but as you may know from experience or hearing that when family belongings go up for the taking especially after the loss of a loved one it can get kind of you know a little sketchy we don't want it to get sketchy. So my aunt, along with the help of my brothers, have, my aunt has decided to mediate, to eliminate any kind of a, any kind of hard feelings about who gets what. So they have created Google Docs and videos of the whole home and everyone is allowed to go through the home and pick out the things that they want and put it on the master list. And then you have the option of maybe getting it, but it'll be ultimately my aunt's decision on who gets what, which is a very smart thing to do because my aunt is pretty unbiased in terms of all eight of us siblings. She loves all of us and has kind of taken on a new role of mom for my mom. Sorry, <clears throat> my mom's sister and best friend. So, <clears throat> sorry, I think I was gonna, it's an emotional thing. So the other part of what my aunt will be doing, I already have mascara on, I can't cry. The other part of what my aunt will be doing is um, my mom had things handed down to her from her mother, her grandmother, her great-grandmother. We have heirlooms in the house that are maternal heirlooms. For right now, my dad is keeping any paternal heirlooms. Anything that came from his parents or we don't have too many of those things. His parents were big into genealogy and family history. So he has a lot of family history book that he is going to keep. Um, and then those will get dispersed later on after he passes. So most of the things that are getting passed along, aside for furniture and things that people that live there might want, are these items of maternal value, right? They're these heirlooms um, that came from my grandma, my great grandma, my great great grandma on my mom's side. And that means that the four of us girls, or my, my aunt has deemed that the four of us girls, I have twin sister and then two younger sisters, we have first dibs on anything maternal heirloom type stuff, or even the things that my mom has of her own, we have first dibs on that stuff over the boys. And then if we don't want that stuff, then it goes to them to decide if they would like it. So our job for the weekend is to go through those things with my aunt. She wants to tell us stories about certain pieces of china or figurines, things like that. We also need to decide which figurines came from that maternal side. Some of them came from my brother. He lived in Spain and picked up yadros. If you know any um, fancy style of porcelain, yadro is a big name. He picked up yadro from my mom from Spain so those go to him it's only fair but we have to go through all that stuff my mom was an avid quilter and a stitch art person so we had to go through all that stuff 
and I will share this process with you as much as I can when I am there because I want to document that part of my journey. Um, I think if you aren't, if you are not new here, you know that some of my, one of my sisters doesn't want to be filmed and so the other two will. So, and I don't know if my aunt will or not. So it's going to be an emotional situation. Um, so I'm just kind of trying to, that's why I'm kind of trying to do some fun things when I'm there. We're 14 minutes in, so I need to cut that. I need to cut that down, but let me show you. Now my hair is done, so I look a little bit more presentable. We're gonna have to fit this stuff into that purple bag um, because I need to take a carry-on bag to put some of the stuff in to bring home. I know I want to bring home my wedding dress if I can find it. I need to actually find a, what do you call it, a vacuum sealed bag to put my wedding dress in to like cinch it down and make it smaller to make it fit into that suitcase. I need to go maybe look at Target for that this week before I leave. And then I'm hoping that I get one of my mom's quilt. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to fit a full size one in that suitcase or if I'm just gonna take, she does runners for tables. She also does wall hangings. So I don't know what I'm going to take but that's what this suitcase here is for. It's also 30 degrees there. So I also have to take a coat. <laughs> and an extra pair of shoes, which will not fit in that carry-on bag. And then anything else that I deem that I want, which there are two things that me and my twin sister want, I will explain those two things, we can't have right now. But my dad has said that he gets authority on who gets those two things, and it's me and my twin sister. And I'll, I'll show you those things when I get there and why they hold value for me and my twin sister. Okay, so it's a bit tricky because I don't necessarily want to carry an empty suitcase through the airport. So yes, I could put that bag into this suitcase, but that means I can't take, I mean, I could do that and then I could have my cross body, but then I wouldn't have access to snacks, headphones. Like, I mean, I, I could do that out of my carry on my little crossbody bag, but any snacks, water bottle, I take my Pringles, which I already have. <laughs> I already have my Pringles. I don't want to waste time there. So I have a second one all ready to go. I don't want to waste time when I'm there having to go to the grocery store, getting snacks for my return flight. So I've already bought all of my snack. I don't need to fit everything in this bag. It's capable, but I kind of want to make sure I put something into this suitcase so that I can leave this one a little bit more open to put my snacks in this one and use this one on the plane as my, what do you call it? Like my, you know, just my airplane bag so that I have access to my snacks and whatnot. So I'm just gonna show you a few of the things that I'm gonna pack and how I'm gonna pack in this backpack and then um, how to make it kind of like plane worthy, plane accessible, and then decide what goes into my carry-on bag. I don't wanna put like two pairs of shoes in it and have them just like tossed back and forth as I'm going through the airport, but I also don't wanna fill it up because um, I need to use it coming home. So gotta kinda have to be like, mindful. So let me show you what I've got so far. Okay. I've got my backpack. I've got a little bag here. I'll show you what's in there and what I'm gonna use that for. I've got my pajamas and a bra right here. And I've got all of my clothes. I've got jeans, dress, sweatshirt, and a sweater for casual and then like nicer going out. And then I've got a few blouses to wear right here, as well as just regular t-shirts for around the house as we're going through things. Like I said, I have to go through like the storage room at my dad's house and I don't wanna do that with like a nice blouse on, but I don't wanna be like grungy either. So I'm kind of having to do multiple outfit outfits per day so that I have a t-shirt and like my black, you know, these black jogger pants on as I'm kind of going through stuff. But then I have a nice blouse and a pair of jeans to, tr to change into to go to dinner or to like even just kind of hang out for the night. But also I wanna go to church with my dad. I wanna go out to dinner with my sister, go to my aunt's house. So I'm kind of having to like pack like everything, kind of having to double pack. And I don't wanna have to buy anything when I'm there because I worry about like fitting it all to come home. So I have a pile of socks. I'm, I'm just gonna, show <laughs> this might be a silly thing. I have one, two, three, four, five pairs of socks. I probably will wear one of these on the plane, but then I have five little socks because at my dad's house, the floors are really hard and really cold. <laughs> So we don't wear shoes in the house for the most part. And so I have these little booty socks to wear, but they get dirty. And so then I have other socks to wear when I go out and wearing regular shoes. But I think I also will take these shoes because that does save my feet on his hard floors. So yes, I do have a lot of socks. I also have underwear in this bag, but I don't need to show you my underwear. So that is already in this pouch. And that's where I'm gonna put all of my other socks. So we're gonna do this pouch first. Okay, that is the first compression bag all cinched up. But then I think maybe I should just put it all into one bigger one. Put my pajamas here, socks here. Problem is I need to be able to fit it in here. And I was gonna do all of my clothes in this big one, 
right here. And I worry, maybe we'll do the big clothes first. And we'll put the big clothes in and then in and see what space we have either for this one or for two little ones. That's kind of the test. I think instead, I'm gonna just put my pajamas in here with my clothes. I actually need to undo the compression bag because it does zip up better. Like this one, if you undo the compression, I did put a bra, I have a nighttime bra. When you're not in your own home, take a loose little sports bra or lightweight to just protect everyone else <laughs> from you not wearing, put a little bra on underneath my pajamas. That's just what I do. I just don't like walking around other people's homes with no bra on. I don't mind here at my own home, but <laughs> my sister has a roommate and then my dad, that's, that's the deal. So there's plenty of room in here in, for that one for my little bra and in this one. So we're gonna see, I need to undo the cinch on this bag all the way and then close this one up. Okay, here they are not compressed in each of their bags. All right, here they are compressed and now we put them in this bag right here. See, this is kind of wor what I worried about. When you make this one like too big, then you can't, I don't know. So this is what I could end up doing with that bag, but I also kind of need to have it all fit in here to come home as well. So this is this is why I didn't want this one to be too puffy because I need to fit, this is why I was gonna do this. I need to be able to fit, or maybe just like one on top. All right, let me try that because this won't close. That won't close. Okay, it's amazing what packaging can do. If I were taking any more, I would do two small bags and do them side by side, which is what I'm gonna do for our trip to Japan and Hawaii. But you wouldn't think that it would fit, but it does. So I'm gonna close that up and I'll show you. Okay, it's all done. It's not tight, tight. It wasn't hard to close it. Um, and then on this side, I have a slot for my water bottle. I'm probably gonna take my Owala water bottle and not my Stanley. Stanleys are too hard to take on planes. Then in this front pouch, I have room for my laptop and a notebook that I'm gonna take with me, edit at night so I can stay caught up on things and also be able to watch a show. So this is kind of a big, long pocket and I didn't want things to get lost in it. So I actually was trying to figure out what kind of a pouch I could take. I thought about taking my little perfume one, but then as I was going through my Hawaii stuff, I realized this is a really cute bag and I'm gonna use that. So show you what's in this bag. Okay, so this is what's gonna go in this bag here. I've got my headphones, gum, my little perfume, some lotion, chapstick, M&Ms. Every holiday M&M is better than the regular M&Ms. I stand by that. These are the Easter ones, peanut butter. I'm so excited to eat these, but I am tucking them away, so I save them for the plane and for like my stay while I'm there, so don't buy other snacks. Chapstick and then my phone charger. I, this is the triple charger, in case you haven't seen these. This one charges my watch, my phone, and my AirPods. If you take them out of the case, they can charge there. But I think I might take another charger, my little power pack, um, so and then it has another charger cord so that I can charge when I'm not, like when I'm on the plane, keep my phone charged while I fly there. Weather in Salt Lake can kind of be iffy. As with any travel, my quick hour and a half flight could turn into like a three hour flight if there's any weather in Salt Lake. We could get diverted, we could circle. I've circled above Salt Lake for a half hour before, threw up the entire time. I'm going to take my Meclizine. I'm gonna take Meclizine. The flying into Salt Lake is awful. I don't know what it does to my stomach, but I have not done a trip there lately. Maybe it's my adult stomach, I don't know. So this little pouch is gonna store all of these things in it. All right, I'm gonna show you the angle that I'm gonna have it on the plane and why I did this stuff in the pouch. Because when I'm on the plane and I've got the bag underneath my seat, I pull it up, lift it up, open just the top, and I have access to this whole bag. And it can just slide in and slide out, or I can just reach in and get the things that I want, um, and I just have easier access to it. Like I could take this whole thing out when I get on the plane and not have to worry about my backpack at all. I could just have this on my lap. And then I have access to my gum, my chapstick, lotion, like you name it, my snacks. I do need to make room for my, what do, what do you call it, my Pringles. They're right there. But I've got my water bottle that has to go here. We're gonna see how much I've got in here. If I have room right here for my Pringles, one of them, then the other one is gonna go into the suitcase. Actually, when this is all like pressed down, the whole top of this backpack is empty, which is why when I travel again, I'm gonna utilize different pouches and, and fill up that space with pouches. So let's see here. Maybe I can just stick my Pringles. Oh, look at that. It's meant to be. I can fit my Pringles in there. Not perfect. And then my other bag, this one here, can just slip right down in there and won't get in the way. I don't think it'll fit in this one. There is a small pouch right there. But here's the other thing. 
Okay, so that backpack is done. And then we have my carry-on bag. I need to put my full-size coat in there, but it is like a down coat, so it'll compact. So what I might do is take, I'm gonna go do it now, because I don't need my coat here, and I'm gonna compress it and put it into this bag. It will fit. If I compress it and put it in here, it'll fit. So then I can put my full-size coat in here, and then if I need to, I could probably rearrange this backpack coming home and fit my coat into this bag if the carry-on bag is filled up with other stuff. Because I have to remember, I have to bring home like, I think I have yearbook, memorabilia, my wedding dress, possibly some quilts. I'm going to be bringing home some stuff. My twin sister has offered to keep stuff at her house if I don't have room for it. That way it gets out of my dad's house and then I can pick up from her, hopefully if we travel and see them this summer, but we haven't, we haven't confirmed plans yet. Also other things might be in the works. I have opportunities to get things from my twin sister if I need to, she can store it for me. So I'm trying to like decide what can go into this suitcase. I don't wanna just take stuff to fill it, but I know I need other stuff there. Shoes, that's what I can do. I can put shoes in there. So my coat's gonna go in here. I think I'm gonna wear tennis shoes on the plane. I don't know, I haven't decided. The Salt Lake Airport. <laughs> You guys, they are. They said that there's like a there's like a 10 year plan for this airport. I'm not kidding you. I I clocked it last time I walked through that airport. I think it's a mile and a half concourse to walk from your gate to the outside like arrivals. It's a mile and a half. <laughs> I was so wondering last time, I was like, when I flew into Salt Lake the first time with this new whole terminal section, I was like, why am I sweating to death? Why <laughs> is this taking so long to walk out? And I, I timed it with my watch, I stepped it, and it's a mile and a half. So on my like travel days, I'm going to get my steps in. <laughs> just going through the airport. So I wanna have comfortable shoes, not only for the airplane, but also for the airport. Both ways, like I still have to do that whole concourse coming home. So I'm gonna need tennis shoes, regular shoes to wear for the week. I'm gonna take my flip-flop and then I need church shoes. So I have to fit that in there, but I also have to come home with it with other stuff in that bag. So I, anyway, that's it. I, I can't pack any of the rest of that stuff quite yet. I have to wear my church shoes for, well actually I mean I wear a different pair for church here, but I can I'm gonna walk this week so I can't pack any of my shoes so I can't pack my shoes quite yet I have a few more days before I can go oh, I forgot I have this to pack see now that I do my hair I actually like need to <laughs> pack things oh I also oh, gosh this carry-on bag is actually gonna fill up I totally forgot my makeup bag you guys I forgot my makeup bag I have shampoo now that I found my shampoo I'm taking that specific shampoo with me. My sister has shampoo in her house, my dad has shampoo, but I am taking my shampoo. And I have wipes and it seems to be like leaking out of it. So I am just, oh, yes? Uh, I was gonna ask if you can make my nail appointment before, please go to the Yes, Kaylee's making one too. Can I talk to you that in just a minute? Hang on a second. Okay, thanks for waiting on that. <laughs> We're trying to coordinate when we all get our nails done for the Japan Hawaii trip. I'm paying for that. I always pay for them to get their nails done before we go to Hawaii because I think fun thing to do. And unfortunately, we never had time to all go together. I would love to do that with my girls, but we just don't have time. And Abby and I have to get ours done before Japan, but Kaylee's going to get it done while we're gone in Japan and she's going to meet us in Hawaii. So I'm just trying to coordinate. I've got a couple different gift cards, but she wants to go to a different salon. I'm still trying to figure that out. Anyway, I've got this, my uh, makeup bag there is nothing fancy in here I'll just show you briefly it's just a makeup pouch and then a whole bunch of palette to do my eyes with and then this one not that one but one this one has a bronzer a blush and a highlighter in it so it's just kind of like a big you know multi-pack or whatever and of course I'm taking my new Sol de Janeiro I've got the perfume in my other bag so basic stuff in here oh I'm gonna take my fancy body wash as well and then I've got makeup brushes in here and then and ponytails and my fan. Can you see that? My little Hawaiian fan to fan my face when I do my makeup. So nothing spectacular in here, but this will have to go in my carry-on bag. I'm gonna have to really like figure out how to cinch things in when I come home. I'm really gonna have to cinch them in quite well. So it turns out I do need to have the carry-on bag. <laughs> just for my regular travel, um, which is fine. I would have condensed this even more. If I truly wanted to travel and didn't need to bring anything back, I would have condensed this to fit differently in that backpack. Totally would have been possible, but I don't need to. But I do need to take a flat iron to actually do my hair while I'm there, because it is easy enough to do. Um, so I will have to, I'm gonna take both of these, because I don't wanna burn my sister's table. So 
and we'll have to figure out how to put that all in. And lastly, if you don't travel with an AirTag, go to Target, go to Walmart, go to Amazon, and buy yourself a $25 AirTag. I'm carrying both of these on the plane. I'm still gonna take them with an AirTag. Let me just show you what it looks like. A little button, a little thing like this. They have AirTag carriers, but I don't need them. I just stick them in little pouches, in zipper pouches inside the suitcase, um, and they came in handy for us in Hawaii last year because someone else took our bag. So someone else could take my my carry-on bag from the top of the rack and I would see it I would know that they took it so I have that ready to go um, you just use the app the find me app and you can track where your suitcase is in Japan every suitcase that we take is gonna have one of these <laughs> I should go get some more of these I have four of them so far so we need well I have three of them so I need to go get two more because I want to make sure we have all of our all of our bags air tagged so that's my last little tip so this is already a long video um, I hope you guys uh, kind of appreciate this is kind of a longer story tell all reasoning why I'm traveling so while it's going to be a fun kind of girls weekend as it turns out my nephew is getting <laughs> he's getting married the weekend after I'm there but he's having a reception then the weekend I am there but he's having a reception two and a half hours away <laughs> and I cannot make it happen. This has to happen first for my dad and his house. And so I, me and my sisters and my aunt cannot make it to that reception, which I feel bad for, but it will allow me to have lots of girl time with my sisters, my aunt, both of my aunts. Um, it's my, my mom's sister and my dad's sister that I will get some extra time with. So I will make fun of the weekend and the getaway. I added extra days on each end to make it kind of extra because my kids are pretty self-sufficient here at home and Jason's obviously gonna be here. So anyway, take care and I am excited to travel. So I'm not sure when this video will go up, if it's gonna go up the day before I travel or you'll just have to wait and see when I head on my way. That'll likely be the case. Um, you'll see a couple more videos and then I'll be off on my travels and I'll take you along that as well. So take care and I will see you guys next time.